Hello, welcome to episode 87 of the Epic Film Challenge 2, 1001 Movies You Must See Before You Die. Does anybody know how many King Kong movie they make? Oh. Yes, uh, we were in New... Good thing we're doing this now before I've forgotten it. Yes, uh, we watched this a few days ago, King Kong, the original 1933 classic, and that was a line from our driver when we first got to New York and he was saying, you know, how many King Kong movie did they make? And so... 1933, and so, yeah, I tried to throw that in there as a personal round. People have seen it in the Yes Trip videos, if you've seen some of our, our trips, uh, trip videos in America. Uh, but yeah, King Kong, the original, had never seen it. I don't think it's that bad to say that, that both of us, the only King Kong film we'd ever seen was the Peter Jackson one. Um, it just, no, because there are only three movies. So. There are only three, yeah, but still, it's. I think a lot of people haven't seen the original. Um, a lot of people have, though, as well. And it's one I've been waiting to see for years, and I'm glad that we finally watched it. And uh, it took a while to get Connie to, to watch it, but I'm glad that we kind of pushed through and, and kind of sat down and watched it. I think it was yesterday. Because it was from the 30s, yeah. I was more set on liking it because I just find movies from that era, era yeah. a lot more impressive, especially when they're... Like this. Well, yeah. yeah. Um, I well, mean, of course, it's, it's, you, you can really tell that it's old. But it makes you think, like, how did they do that? Yeah. Um, so the story of this this King Kong is that um, a guy, a filmmaker, Denim, I think his name was, uh, he makes these movies out in the jungle and stuff, and then he comes back to New York and he screens them, almost like just nature documentaries, I suppose, in its earliest form. And then he's going to do this other uh, documentary, or this other film, I, I should say, um, but he wants to get an actress for the first time, because the public wants a, a leading lady. And he hasn't even told the captain of the ship he's hired where they're going. It's this secret island that he heard about in like Norway or something a couple of years ago. Or some Norwegian. He um, said that? Yeah, some Norwegian guy had given him a map or something. And so they were going to this. I would have noticed them saying something about it. Definitely said that. And, th and there's some uncharted island that he had a map to. And so they go off and he gets this girl. And they go to this island where there's this fabled Kong. This, this huge, you know, unseen thing. And obviously it's this huge, massive gorilla. Um. I liked the the intro to the film, the way it was set up, the way that you know the story was moving. You don't see King Kong for quite a while, but once you do see him, I was really surprised how much we see him, because it's done with stop motion animation for the most part. Whenever you see a close up of his face, you could tell it was just a uh, like a dummy or whatever being moved, but for the majority, you're seeing a full body stop motion animated um, uh, puppet, I suppose. There's so much of it. Like I was I was really impressed with how much stop motion animation is in this film. Once you see Kong. And the animation is actually pretty good too. Yeah, too, it's, it's, it's great. Um, and then there's other like dinosaurs that, that come in and things like that. And to me, this film was just a complete marvel as far as the technical things that went. I was so blown. Like I, I'd seen, I think you've probably seen the clip of him on top of the Empire State Building. It's like one of those classic, maybe you haven't, but it's one of those classic images. You know. I probably have. Um, but I hadn't seen a lot of it. Obviously I hadn't seen the film. And so I was just, I just kept getting blown away by all these like shots where He's trying to reach down to grab a guy, and you're seeing the guy move around at the bottom of the screen. I mean, it's not perfect, but it's it's almost perfect. It's from the 30s. Yeah. It's pretty freaking perfect for the 30s. 19, you know? 1933, sound film had only been around for like five years. You know, this is it's really early on. And I think, like, there's this one shot I had to, because this really struck me at the time. You see Kong, and he's, obviously, I think you all know the story, that he, he kind of falls in love with the girl who gets brought along on the trip, and he kind of takes her and stuff, and that's mm -hmm. kind of the, the main crux of the story. Um, so he's carrying this girl off, and there's like a, a little miniature set of like a tree and a bit of you know grass and stuff, and he's walking along it, stop motion animation. But in the background is a waterfall, a moving waterfall, and obviously it's a it's a screen, and they filmed the waterfall, and it's projected. Yeah, there's a lot of screens. But it's projected, and then the stop motion is still in the frame. So I I was thinking, how did they do that? The only thing I'd think of is that they must have moved him one frame at a time and had the the, the video of the waterfall move one frame at a time. Because how else, would, how else would they do it, you know? I, I don't know, there's a lot of there's overlapping somehow in this, because there's a lot of... Lots of layers It of looks like... Th if it is projected on a screen, it must be from the back, because you don't see yep. the shadows of the yeah, actors. Yeah, it's, 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 it's real screen And you production. can tell that they're looking at it, and, and it's just... I think it's really well done, and then it kind of stops in a way, and then it managed to walk past it's really, really, really well done. Yeah, very, very um, good rear screen projection. Um, it, ju it just makes me think, wow, we got it easy now. <laughs> <There> <laughs> yeah. 
we got green screens, you know, mm. but back then they had to do it in the freaking theater, you know, to, do, to manage to do it. In the theater, what do you mean? Well, I'm guessing a big screen is in the theater. Well, they would, they'd have it on a, a set, on a screen. set, wouldn't they? They'd have yeah. it on a set, but yeah, oh yeah, obviously, yeah, they they really had to work for it. They really had to work for the effect that they pulled mm -hmm. off in this. And but I really liked the uh, beginning as well. The before they went yeah, to it, the it, island, it was and set I thought well. the uh, the tribe uh, at the island. Obviously, there's a tribe. There's usually. a uh, you you should know about King Kong. Yeah, uh, and that was impressive, I think, as well. I just love that kid that's always in the way. <laughs> yeah. Well, twice, I guess. Uh, but uh, I really noticed it. It's like, it always has to be picked up yeah, and run but away. Not even, not even the stop motion animation, not even the rear screen projection effect and stuff, but the um, the set. Uh, yeah. When they were at the big, huge door that they, they have to kind of... Um, it's like a wall on the island to kind of keep Kong and the dinosaurs out and the tribe lives on the other side. Because they're dinosaurs. And it's this huge set. It's um, I mean, I've seen bigger sets, even in the silent era, but it's still huge and impressive and uh, and well put together. I think you said you didn't like the, the acting of the, the character who's um, making the film, Denim. The main character, yeah. Uh, well, you could argue who the main character is, but he's the guy who gets well, the, yeah. the the ball rolling with the, the guy who wants to make the film on this island. But he, let's he, just say there's one scene that you He has want. a scene, and the way he gives his lines out it sounds like he's just reading them out, the the the, the voice and everything. Mm -hmm. So he didn't convince me. Yeah. Uh, the rest was fine, I guess, but mm. th there was a lot more action going around. But this was just yeah, you know, people standing in a room. Yeah, the beginning. And then he just sounded like he he might as well be like reading it off the script, like yeah. blah 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 May blah. And then I just didn't like him from now on. Maybe a little stilted at times. Um, it didn't really didn't bother me though. Uh, and but then the rest was fine. The, the the main girl was good. I liked her. Um, she has kind yeah. of she has kind of a little romance with a guy on the ship, and that was kind of fun. And John Jack. Uh, yeah, oh yeah, there's a, he, there's a guy called Jack, and then he's also called John, and it's a kind of confusing. I guess Jack was a, a nickname. I don't know. They don't make it very clear. But yeah. um, anyway, Johnny, Jonathan, anything but Jack. What? I, I really, I really don't know how else to uh, segue into this. I mean, I would just say if you don't know the ending to this film, then then. How are you watching this video? How are you functioning as a human being? Everyone knows the ending Empire of State King. Building. Everyone knows the ending of King Kong. But if you don't, uh, turn off now and go watch it. You're warned. We're not even gonna do a spoiler warning. It's a classic. I mean, we went. We you went. Just did. We went to. The, how did I spoil it? You're warned. Yeah, I mean, I'm not gonna do the the the, the alarm that I usually put on uh, the video. But we went to the Empire State Building and we went to the little gift shop. Obviously, all it well, not all it is, but most of it was King Kong stuff. That's a lot of it. Yeah. So many like just King Kong on the on the Empire State Building, King Kong this DVDs of King Kong like it's it's so synonymous with the building now and um, it's it's such a classic image and of course you know a very tragic ending with Kong just getting <laughs> machine gunned for like five <laughs> minutes until he falls off um, and and just the image of him carrying up the the girl to the top of the building as well. Uh, that also I, I found. Like the the shot where she was actually in some kind of hand mm. moving, and then you see and it, you have the stop motion of him on the other side of the screen, like yeah. split somehow, but you can't really see the split. It's pretty well done. Yeah. And then she's moving around, and and it's like wow. Yeah, that but was. But other scenes, she's it's just a puppet, and she's also stop motion. Yeah. It's really well done. You're right. That was a great shot. We we're kind of seeing. I'm guessing they had the body, the head, and the left arm. That was like animated, yeah. and then the screen shows the right arm holding her, and she's yeah. actually moving around like they've in a hand. Just some that of the, they must have built. Yeah, the seamless stuff like that. It really is like so impressive, and it's, it's a spect it's a spectacle movie. It really is. I, I think the scenes where he's uh, grabbing and biting humans as well is really good. Mm. Like uh, throwing them around and stuff. Yeah. Uh, the the fighting scene with the T Rex. Awesome. I loved I it. I loved Amazing. it. Amazing. It was. A... It went on for so long as yeah. well. I didn't expect it to because I was like, oh, this is going to take People a lot of time. wrestling around and yeah. throwing him around. And stuff. it was so similar to Peter Jackson's movie. I like how we follow that movie a lot. It's, it's, the, no, other way, it's the other way, isn't it? It's Peter Jackson's is similar to this. Uh, that's what I meant. Well, well yeah. coming from your experience, you mean? Because you'd only seen. No, no, no. But I well, do both mean of us. that Peter Jackson followed the movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, very to the point, like he is fighting a T Rex. Obviously, it's a lot different in Peter Jackson's movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the way he he little details, like the way he kills the T Rex by by cracking its jaw open, 
and then after that, just checking the jaw. Uh, you know, and it's limp. Or is it limp? And you can tell and that it's, it's like, limp. You yeah. know, the way it's animated, just oh, perfect. How do you animate limp stuff? Teach me. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, like that's really well done. And then the, the dangers just keep on coming. Seriously, like. <laughs> Though in the in the Peter Jackson movie, that that was the thing that I was kind of waiting for in this one, right? Because uh, that was very very obvious in the Peter Jackson movie how um, Jane, uh, Justine Tarson, what's her name? <laughs> I forget the Anne. girl's name. Maybe, Anna. Maybe I don't Anne. know. I don't know. Anna or Anna, the the girl, the yeah. only girl in the movie. Pretty much. Yeah. Uh, she. Uh, she realizes that Kong wants to help her, and she sees the vulnerability. The vulnerability. 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 You screwed me up. <laughs> In Kong, and she she sees that he has emotions and stuff, and she starts caring about him. Yeah. In Peter Jackson's movie, which I think is really really great because it makes it more emotional. When the inevitable happens. Yes. Uh, but in this one, she's just constantly scared of him. Yeah, which is fine. Uh, yeah, 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 but I kind of wanted her to see, okay, he saved you three times yeah, that's a good from point. massive beasts, yeah. but you still don't see it. Yeah, I think it's just the, the horror of it and the terror of it and stuff. And I, I, I felt. Well, I would be terrified, yeah. anyways, I guess, but I mean, he never hurts her, so. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I, I prefer Peter Jackson's, but this is because it's the original and the classic one. It's amazing. I, I would. I mean, we're gonna go there. I guess. Um, I prefer the original easily. Um, it's more emotional to me. Peter yes, King, 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 Peter Jackson King Kong is more emotional, and I think that the ending is is brilliant in that film. I like how they did it. But I like the the, the but, relationship between Anne and the Kong, yeah, Kong. I get that, but I just uh, Peter Jackson's one's a bit too long for me. There's some CGI in it that oh, is just yeah. god awful. Like there's some terrible bits. <laughs> like holy shit. Uh, the dinosaurs almost look better in the. May, may, maybe just not make the film three hours and and cut out some of the bad CGI and you've got a better film. But um, there's just something. Story wise. There's just right, but there's just something about this original that um is so impressive. Again, it's a spectacle film. You know, um, that's what we watch films and for. The stop motion. To be to be wowed and stuff. That's what I mean. It's the spectacle of the animation of the effects and all that kind of stuff, and. It's, uh... Everything else goes around that, and I still found it emotional. Well, not emotional. I didn't get emotional, but I found it a, you know, it was. A, I felt for King Kong because that scene when he gets unveiled in the theater and he's just chained up. You know, it's just like that's you know, and he's not done anything evil. He's just he's a wild animal. And then at the end, you know, just seeing him get, there's just so many shots of that those planes just shooting at him, and he's flailing, and it's just like it goes on. It's drawn out, and I really liked how drawn out it was until he finally falls and yeah because you just you kind of like oh my god just end of suffering yeah um and, and then that classic line at the end was beauty killed the beast yeah he, he, the... he delivered that line better than uh, jack black did because <laughs> <laughs> it just sounded weird when jack black said it yeah um so is it a film must see before you die um definitely yes. absolutely um for anyone who enjoys films i can't see them watching this and not finding something to enjoy um mm. and especially people who like big blockbuster movies because this was like you know one of the early ones there obviously were ones before it but this is definitely one of those kind of spectacle blockbuster movies with big special effects and a, a good story um, that is kind of what films it's 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 like the the highest level a film can achieve I think well not the highest level but like you have drama films where it's just characters and emotions and stuff and you can relate to it but you can take it even further when you show people something that they're that they can't see in real life you know and there's something so huge and large in life about it. Look at like Star Wars, complete fantasy, and, and it's one of the most popular things in the world because it's it's so you know, so yeah. And I think this is one of the, the great early ones, the blockbusters. You know. If you had seen this without me, would you have thought that I would have liked it? Yeah. If I hadn't seen it, I would, but I would have been concerned that maybe it was a bit too slow at the beginning. Like I say, get it yeah, takes a while to I get to it. <laughs> yeah. So, so there you go. Because the acting was overall really good. Yeah. Anything else you want to add? Before we uh, finish this one, mm. no, no. Okay. <laughs> I can't think of anything. Yeah. Well, uh, I'm glad you enjoyed it. And, yeah, uh, me too. And that was it. Thank you. For, thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.